Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to solve bar graph questions in Python. A bar graph is used for graphical display of data using bars of different heights. It can be vertical or horizontal. The easy question on bar graph will just have single data point and little complex ones will have multiple bars. Let's start with an easy question first. Here area cultivated in different states are shown. You have to draw a bar graph in green with yellow border and labels and ticks. Let's look at how we will make this graph. First thing you need to do when you are using PyPlot is to import it in your program. So we will do that first. Now let's look at the syntax of making bar graph. If you see this, at a minimum, it needs two sequence X and Y to make the graph. First sequence can be string or numbers, but second sequence has to be numbers here for it to plot the height of bars. We will create the sequence for states for X axis and sequence for area in the Y axis and call the bar function. After this, we will call the plot function to display the bar chart. This gives the basic bar chart. Now we need to format it as per the question. First is the color and border color. If we see the syntax, it has two parameters, colors and edge color. If we pass a single value to it, all bars will have the same color. But if you pass a sequence of same length as states, then it will pick the individual colors specified in the sequence. So in our case, we will set it to green with yellow edge color. Now there are some additional functions in PyPlot which are common to all graphs. So you can try using any of them for your graphs. They are title, labels, legend, grid, x and y limits, x ticks and y ticks which are covered in line chart. In our question, we have the labels. So we will set the x and y labels. We also have the title. So we will set the title as well. Now if we run this, we will see the bar graph as per the question. Now let's solve a question where we have multiple bars. In this example, we have four batters and three different values of scores with them. Now if you try solving this as we did the last problem, take x axis and batters and three sequences for the scores and call the bar function with sequence and colors, you will see that the bars overlap each other. To fit in multiple bar graphs, we'll play with the thickness and position of the bars. The default width of a bar is 0.8. To adjust multiple bars, we decrease the width of the bars. Like if we have to place two bars, I can make the width of each of them as 0.4. We have three bars, so I will make the width of the bar as 0.25 each. So we have got the width. Let's see if just this will solve our problem. Answer is no. We see the bars are thinner but are still overlapping. To fix this, you also need to change the placement of bars on x-axis. For this, our x-axis needs to be numeric. So we will first create an alternate x sequence which we can create using numpy arrange function. Now we will print the first bar at this x position. The second bar we will shift by 0.25, which is the width of the first bar. The third one we can either give at minus 0.25 position relative to the first bar or at plus 0.5 position. Now if you run this code, you will see that the bars are displayed side by side. But now we do not have batter names appearing on x-axis. For this, we will use xticks function. We will use the center x sequence below which we want the batter names to appear 
and give the sequence of batters. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit my website for more Python programs to practice on. Good luck!